Hey, good doc. Back again once again. Let's lock in. I had a subscriber hit me up and say, Doc, when is the best time to send a text message to a Filipina? Now, he didn't give me much context in, as to what he meant, but I kind of wanted to fill in the blanks because I think I had an idea of what he meant. Now, if you're just now meeting a Filipina and you're just getting her number, for me, I don't waste too much time in, you know, at least texting her that, so that she has access to my number. So no sooner than you get the number, you can miss call it so she has it separate a few minutes or so you it doesn't it, it, there's no real time frame on how long you should wait to text the filipina all right hot text her quick say hey you know just wanted to see you know make sure i tell you have a good day or whatever it may be just you know what's up but if you're asking me what time of the day would i personally text the filipina i tend to save all of my text messages for about 8 9 or 10 p.m evening time now we about to we about to really um dig a little deeper into this one because i think this is something that a lot of foreigners can benefit from and it'll definitely tell you a lot about the person you're dealing with or the person that you're texting in the moment now be because i'm the type of person that saves all of my textual energy ha, i'm gonna quote that shit put that on a t-shirt textual energy because i save a lot of my textual energy for the nighttime it's for a specific reason right 8, 9, 10 p.m. If you're texting a Filipina at 8, 9, or 10 p.m. in the evening and her responses are quick, you know, her responses are consistent, not a lot of time lapses between your text and hers, that immediately lets me know that she's probably alone or at least there's nobody around her at the moment that is preventing her from texting, aka a boyfriend, significant other, etc. Right? So I save a lot of my textual energy around that time because I don't mind texting the girl 8, 9, 10 p.m. You know, hey, how you doing? What you doing? Right? Because I don't know, I don't care if it's a Filipina, I don't care if it's a woman from the States or whatever. Every girl should have a general idea of why a guy is texting them that late in the evening with these particular text lines. Hey, how you doing? What you doing right now? Right? So the response is back and how that conversation transpires. You know, you can ask her, you know, what she's doing. You know, you know, do you want to go do something? Or, you know, you want to grab a drink or whatever. You want to go do something? You want to go eat? I haven't eaten yet. You want to go read? Whatever. I mean... Any reason that you can get to where she is or to go see her. Hell, you can even invite her over to your place, you know? Tell her you about to put on a movie, you got some beers or whatever, or some drinks and stuff, she want to come over. Come on, guys. 50-50 chance, yes or no. Right? She'll either say, yeah, I'm coming, or no, I'm not. Right? But ultimately, if she says yes, if she says yes, <laughs> I think you can kind of read between the line and connect the dots on the energy that's probably going to transpire now it's very rare that you'll have a filipina that will agree to come over to where you're at or agree to meet you at that time of night if she's not a willing participant in the activities that i believe that gentlemen who text women at that time of the evening have in mind right sometimes it's better to clarify it through text, like, yo, you know, I want you to come over, you know, maybe me and you can hang out or something. Hopefully, she'll read between the lines, but I don't want you to get caught up in a situation where you say, yo, you want to meet her at a certain time or you want to meet up with her now and stuff, and she try to play dumb, like, oh, what are we going to do? <laughs> Most girls pretty much know, but sometimes you'll have the ones that'll play dumb and ask you the questions, right? So if they do ask you the questions, please feel free to elaborate. Go into detail without going into detail, you know? I mean, I, I figured you were alone. I'm alone, too. So I kind of figured we could be alone together. <laughs> that was always my favorite line to use. And I have no idea why that shit worked. It was corny as fuck. I'm alone and you're alone. So why don't we be alone together? Y'all can put that one in your... Put that one in, put that in your text box, man. Just, just, just put that in the back of your mental. Y'all can keep that one. Uh, that's that's a freebie from the good doc. All right? That's a freebie. Um, But, you know... I used to just say that, and I think, like I said, man, you could pretty much, you know, fill, fill in, you know, fill in the blanks. A lot of Filipinos are good at knowing that, and maybe she just wants to spend some time, too. I've learned something about women over the last couple years, man, as I got a little older. But women don't like to be alone very much, man. 
women and female nature, a lot of them don't like to spend time alone, especially at night. So to save your textual energy for 8, 9, 10 p.m., if she's by herself, she ain't got nothing to do, and she trying to do something, and you're trying to do something, chances are she'll be more acquiescent to your whims. AKA, she'll be more willing, she'll be a more willing participant, you know? Because, yeah, it's a guy, I like him, he's cool, you know, we've always had good times around each other, you know, he's never really given me any negative energy. I'm here by myself, I ain't gonna do shit anyway, so I might as well do something with him. Some girls just think like that. And again, I've always found it to be beneficial to text them that time of night, mainly because pretty much girls are not really into BSing around that time, at least from what I understand. A lot of them just ain't into the BS because either they sleeping, they're getting sleepy, or they're about to sleep. But no woman I've ever met likes to sleep alone because it, it's them, them nights get cold, man. Them nights get cold, and sometimes they just like a warm body to hug up against. Gentlemen, why don't you be that warm body, you know? Why don't you be that guy? Why don't you be the warm body that she's been desiring or needing all damn day? No, you could save your textual energy to 4 or 5 p.m. in the afternoon. Maybe the results are different. You're texting them first thing in the morning. Unless it's like 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Unless it's like really, really early in the morning. Not sure how that'll play out. But for me, like I said, if I'm going to text you, honestly, I'd save it for 8, 9, or 10. If I'm getting responses from you at about one, two, three, four, oh, you already know what's good. I've done that before too. <laughs> I've texted pe I've texted girls at like two, three o'clock in the morning, right? Just to see what they were doing, just to see if they were still up. If they responded, you you knew what was good, right? <laughs> but if they didn't respond, you'd be like, yeah, they probably sleep or, you know, they they busy. So. Like I said, it's up to you how you determine what time works best for you to text somebody. But for me, I've always learned that the 8, 9, 10 p.m. the night time works more often than not. Because when you get responses at that time, like I said, nobody's there taking up her time in the moment. So she's able to text you without, well, she's able to freely text you, right? So maybe she ain't got a boyfriend or there's nobody around. You know, she's alone. And like I said, lonely women... With all due respect, man, they make the best, you know. <laughs> Usually their decision making about that time is, uh, <laughs> fuck, you know what I mean. I'm not going to say it, but you know, usually their decision making about 8, 9, 10 p.m. If they don't want to be apart or alone, if you know, then you know, man. And I'm not going to dive deep into that one because I think that everybody knows <laughs> what, we, what we're referring to, man. If you hear me, if you see me, you feel me, you know what's good, all right? So... That's just my time, ladies and gentlemen. Man, I wanted to just drop that one on you because I did have that particular question asked before and I think that it's, you know, no better time than the present to address it. And I just think that I think a lot of guys will understand why that particular time frame works best when it comes to texting women, especially if they're the nightlife type and, you know... You know, you know, you know, you know how guys are when it, when it, when it's uh, closing time, right? I, I'm, I'm not a bar guy, but I know that, you know, girls around closing time. You know, that that's that's good times right there. Because like I said, nobody really like to go home alone if they ain't got to. Which is why I think hookup culture is awesome sometimes. I mean, like I said, I'm in a relationship. Don't be getting me shot because I'm just being honest. But <laughs> like I said, if you know, then you know, man. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. Hey, been a good doc, man. Y'all take care. Y'all stay blessed, man. Doc is out. Peace. Subscribe. Do all the good stuff. Links in the description below. Doc is out.